The Jets signed Mike Remmers yesterday, and we are going to talk about everything you need to know about this guy. Hey, what's going on? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today we're talking Mike Remmers. Yes, the Jets add offensive line depth and some good offensive line depth. Before we get started today, I just wanted to mention that you can follow on socials at Matt O'Leary and why. If you haven't already, please make sure to check out the Just Jets podcast. New episodes drop every single Wednesday. And last but certainly not least, support for today's episode comes from Vincero Collective. I got this beauty of a watch. You got to get yourself one of the Vincero watches. If you aren't familiar with them yet, they make exceptionally crafted and stylish watches at an affordable price. You can finally look like a baller without having to spend like one. But if you're listening to the show, I know you probably have pretty good taste, so uh, that's not going to be an issue. But you might as well look good during the football season when you're watching the New York Jets. Uh, and, and waiting for them to, I don't know, hopefully win another game soon. No, not only are you going to be looking good, but I got you with a discount code. They are offering a 20% off and free shipping code with my code Matt20. That is Matt20 at VinceroCollective.com. Make sure to pick it up. Get yourself something nice. Okay, so who is Mike Remmers? Well, he is a veteran who has started really a whole lot in his career. Uh, really not as much recently but from 2015 to 2020 he was a starter for the Panthers the Vikings the Giants and the Chiefs uh he spent time with the Chiefs most recently he started two games last year I will get into how he did in those two games momentarily but in his career he's played both the left side and the right side more recently on the right side and probably better at right tackle but he is someone who has played left tackle Last time he played left tackle was 2016. So it's been a little bit. Um, And in his career, he's always kind of been a better pass blocker, which is good because the Jets have struggled in their pass protection so far through three weeks of the NFL season. Uh, In two starts for the Chiefs in 2021, he allowed one sack, five pressures. So, I mean, this is just a, a veteran guy who has a ton of starting experience and who's an okay starter. Is he great? No. Is he atrocious? Also, no, I really don't think so. And if it was up to me, I know he hasn't played left tackle in years. But if George Fant can't go, which it doesn't seem like that's the case, I'm not starting Connor McDermott. I know this guy just came in off the street, but I have a hell of a lot more faith in Mike Remmers, who's been sitting around doing Jack, you know what, for the last few months than I do Connor McDermott. He was atrocious when he came in for George Fant after injury. Like this guy can't play. At least with Zach Wilson, he could move. And thank God, because if Joe Flacco has to start this game with your left left tackle as a turnstile, they're gonna have a Pittsburgh's gonna have a million sacks. And I know there's gonna be some people who are saying, and you had the SNY crew, Bart Scott saying it. Well, I don't know. I might sit Zach a week because you know the Pittsburgh they have the aggressive defense. Look. I understand the circumstances aren't great with Pittsburgh's defense and the makeshift offensive line at the moment, but you can't play scared. You can't in the regular season. You can't play scared. It's a different story from like when we had this debate when Zach got hurt. If he should have just went down, should have known the spot that it's a that's a preseason game. To now, just a completely different scenario, right? Like. You have to know what you have in the number two pick, and if you're protecting him. And you don't want to put him in that spot because you think he's going to fail. Then they probably have the wrong guy. Bottom line, he has to play. He has to. And that's kind of where this conversation is going to end up going is, well, oh, my God, makeshift offensive line. Zach's going to get hurt again. You can't play him. You can't play scared at this point. If he's medically cleared, he has to be out there. And at least he has a half a shot of being able to move outside if the left tackle is struggling. But I, I want to see Mike Remmers on the field ASAP because I just I have zero faith in Connor McDermott. I don't know if they're going to put Mike Remmers off the street into a lineup in this short amount of time. And maybe that was a little hyperbolic of me saying that he's he should play this week. I don't, I don't care that he's been, you know, sitting on the couch. But like I, they need they very much so needed insurance. And this is a signing they should have made two, two weeks ago. Why do they wait till now to do it? Uh, that that is, you have every right to criticize Joe Douglas for this one, because uh, Dwayne Brown's been hurt for a while, 
And Mike Remmers has been sitting there, and he's a starter in this league. He's a proven starter in this league. Sure, he's not Dwayne Brown level of talent. He's just not. But he can come in. He can come in and play. So I don't get this one that they waited so long to do it. This was a no brainer. I made a video back in early September. September fourth is when I made the video, and Mike Remmers was on my list of guys that they could still sign. And they didn't. They didn't. They they uh, for whatever reason did not. So. Let me know what you think about the signing. Should he play? When should we see him on the field? What's you, what are you doing? Are you sitting Zach Wilson? Just, whatever, whatever's on your mind, get after me in the comments section. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Matt O'Leary, and I'll catch you next time.